Hey, how you doing? Today I'm going to show you how I made these tentacles using pool noodles. Let's do it. First up, you're gonna need some pool noodles. Then, to make the tentacles poseable, we need to build a wire armature. Just roll out the wire and cut it so that it is slightly longer than the actual pool noodle itself. Then, just glue it in place with some Gorilla Glue and clamp it overnight. And now it is in there nice and secure. Next, we need to shape the tip of the tentacle. For this, I'm just taking a very sharp utility knife and shaving away the pool noodle until it's a shape that I like. Now for all these ridges. For this, I'm going to be using some monofilament fishing line. I basically just cut a really long piece and wrap it around and around and around in the spot where I want the ridge to be. And I just pull it tight as I go. And the more layers I wrap it around, the more it gets pulled together. And then I just tie it off a few times like this. For the suction cups, I use suction cups. I'll link the exact ones I'm using right here in the description down below. To attach them, I first went in and poked the holes where I wanted them to go with a pair of scissors. Then I just squirted a little bit of some hot glue in the hole and pushed the little nub on the back of the suction cup right down into it. The hot glue melts the foam a little bit, opening the hole up a little bit wider and then once it cools down, the suction cup is nice and secure. Next, I apply a thin coat of contact cement over the entire tentacle. I'm doing this because we're eventually going to cover it in latex and this is going to help the latex adhere down to the foam as well as the suction cups. Now I go ahead and mix up two colors of liquid latex. To color the latex, I'm just using some acrylic paint. I use some dark blue as well as some light blue, but this is where you can really get creative with the colors. Now, Mold Builder is my preferred latex of choice. You can find it at Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Amazon. It's super thick, which is why I love it. I just mix it in with the acrylic paints really well. You don't have to add too, too much of the paint here. We're not trying to make it super opaque, just slightly tint the latex. That way you can still see through it a bit when it dries. I first applied a solid coat of blue over the entire tentacle. After that, I worked on one side of the tentacle at a time, first putting a coat of light blue on the side with the suckers, and I'm just stippling it on here as opposed to brushing it on. And then I would let this coat completely dry where I would then flip it over, put dark blue on the other side, and then I would flip back and forth doing each color, overlapping them on the side just a little bit to help blend it together. I repeated this enough times to have six layers of latex over the entire tentacle. Once all the latex had dried, it looked like this. The last thing to do was to add some white latex to the inside of all the suction cups. Once this dried, the tentacles were complete. What do you think? I love them. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe. I do lots of cool things like this all the time. That's all I got for you today though, so stay safe and I'll see you guys real soon.